Whitney, you led Jefferson County to the state tournament as a player uh, your junior year, I believe it was, and y'all finished fourth in the state. Um, and now you come back as an assistant coach and you're a state champion. How sweet is this to you personally? Oh my gosh, it is awesome. I feel like it would have felt the same whether I was playing or not. I love these girls. They've played hard, they fought hard. We scratched, we clawed on every game, every step. We've had great battles had a, that's prepared us for these moments like this, and it's amazing. I love it, So, and I'm so happy for these girls. They've done a great job. How much did your experience in 2010 maybe kind of help you prepare and you know help Hillary prepare pre prepare these girls for the big stage they were about to take? Um, yeah, it definitely helped because whenever we came here my junior year, there was a lot of a lot of noisemakers, a lot of cowbells, and you know, in the IMAC, we don't experience a lot of that. You know, we have loud yelling, we have some drumsticks going on, but not really anything like you see here. So we knew that coming in that the noise would be loud. Um, travel ball has also helped these girls out too, so that's a big helper because it's basically like a travel ball setup. So, um, but us coming to state before. It helped us prepare these girls for the experience, make sure they were fed, had the water, had everything going. So, Caitlin Riley, I'm not sure. <laughs> Can words justify how she's performed for you all this season? She's done a great job. I, you know, she's just a sophomore and she's already grown so much. And I can't wait to see what she's going to do and with our next two years. You know, this helps. This experience right here not only helps you for the next couple years of high school, but also helps you for your years of college. So it helps you because you see the best players in Tennessee and it just builds you as a player. And it's going to be great. She's done a great job. She's spin, spinning the ball great. She's thrown with speed. She's done a great job. She bounces back and she's ready each in every pitch. Caitlin Riley is, is, has lately, she's been a story of bouncing back. Because in, in the district championship, uh, she lost twice to Morristown East, but then came back strong and went, uh, I think, 3-0 and the very next week to get help Jefferson County get here. Earlier today, Siegel scores 10 runs against her. Now, she said the difference was the gummies, but um, the what, what does that say about Caitlin's character to, to bounce back from that and throw a shutout the way she did? To be able to bounce back, that just shows how great of a player you are, be able to separate those games. If, it separates the good players from the great players. Good players, you know, they still kind of have that in the back of their minds. Great players, they wash it and are ready for the next step, ready to come back with the next game. So she's done a great job separating that out and bouncing back. And the gummies definitely do help it out, help her chill out. So. <laughs> what brand are those gummies? I got to get me some. Uh, they're from Sam's Club, Makers something, but they're the best. They got really good flavors. So. Thank you, Whitney.